So today we will be learning how to check stress and deformation or displacement on an airfoil uh, on which we put a certain force. So first I will show you the file that I have created. Uh, this is the SOLIDWORKS file and this is th the width of this airfoil is exactly 3 mm and we will be putting a 2 Newton force on the underbelly of this airfoil and we will be seeing how much deformation and stress is exerted on the whole body so after you have done that and converted this this into a .igs file uh, you'll have to close this tab go to ANSYS and then be ready to take out this static structural module drag it here Wait. now if you want to change the material uh, in ANSYS by default there is static structure if you want to add a new material you can click here I already have a material in my hand right now that is this Control C Control V now here it shows a question mark that means uh, we have to add some data we have to define this material so I'll go to isotropic elasticity drag it here and you can see that uh, it is asking for some details a Young's modulus and Poisson's ratio okay so here I'll fill this data Now the next thing that we'll be doing is adding this compressive ultimate strength. This defines that at what point this material will break. So according to my data it is 1666.6 megapascal so I'll enter that. And if you want your answers to be your solution to be more specific and more accurate, you can add tensile ultimate strength, compressive yield strength, tensile yield strength. All this strength is, it will make your answer more accurate. But uh, for the sake of this video, I won't uh, do it right now. Uh, but just I'll show you how you can do it. You just have to drag it here, and it will show this yellow box that you have to fill, and you have to do it for these two also. I'll delete it for now and now when you are done with it uh, just cross this and then go to geometry import geometry I showed you my IGS file uh, I, you can browse it and search for it I already have it here and I would suggest that you check your geometry out in design modeler or space claim just to confirm that it is exactly what you created generate and as you can see there has been a small mistake by ANSYS uh, my uh, my 3 mm width airfoil was filled but as you can see it is hollow inside so you have to go to operation and you see that add frozen option is selected you have to go to add material now if you click on generate see this is filled now this is accurate uh, this is what I have created so now you can get out of here and then you can go to model where you will create the mesh and all as you can see my figure is loaded now the first thing I'll do is click on generate mesh uh, you have to right click here and click on generate mesh we know that uh, the more the more defined and more accurate the mesh is the more accurate your solution will be but 
uh, th this is not the most accurate mesh but that's not the point of this video i just want to show you uh, how you can check the stresses uh, in further videos you will see how to create a better mesh but for now i'll just tell you how to uh, put out the conditions and see the stresses and the deformations so you go to static structure to st set the conditions you right click here you go to insert and the first thing you have to do is click on fixed support now as the name suggests I, there are certain uh, places where uh, the object is not supposed to move for example this circle I click here and the upper surface control and left mouse button so it is completely self selected then I click apply ha, and please remember to click on this before this is uh, you can directly press control left to select faces this is control e for edges and this is for vertex so i have selected this face of the circle here i hit on apply and you can see the fixed support is present the next thing i'll do is i'll add forces so right click again on static structure and in insert you search for forces yes force now on the underbelly here I select this body I click on apply I'll go to isometric view yes it has been selected and I select a force of 2 Newton now as you can see it is showing the down arrow but uh, this is not what will happen in real life I want to change the direction it will be acting upwards so I click on direction and then here so as you can see this is this is what the new arrow will be I want that so I'll click on apply and this arrow shows that uh, the force of 2, new, two newton will be acting in upward direction plus y axis so that is done now i'll hit on solve now we are almost done here in the solution you right click go to insert and deformation i would suggest directional deformation and select the y axis because the force is being exerted along the y axis and that's what we need to know how much deformation will be there and uh, in stress go to equivalent one misses and then uh, when you have selected this you just have to click on solve now you'll see that yes equivalent one misses stress it is displayed in megapascals if you want to look at the animation and by this color contour you can see how much force is being exerted at what places this will be very helpful in topology optimization which we will show in the next few videos and if you go to directional deformation you can see this now what has happened is we have done this simulation assuming that our airfoil is of static structure uh, at the start of the video i uh, put on another material of titanium so if you want to check for that you have to first i put stop on this animation go to geometry and if you click on this plus option you will see solid and there's this assignment option structural steel is selected i want to change it this is my titanium grade 5 material that i want to test with so i click on this and you see we have to solve all of this again so click solve obviously if the material is changed the solution will also change the stresses and the deformation will be different this time yeah. so this is what will happen with titanium i press stop i go to directional deformation uh, the deformation here is different So that's all for this video. Please like, share and subscribe. Thank you.